Here's what's happening on Juno's Connect. Want to install a lab that scales without any cost to you? We'll introduce you to Junosphere Lab, Juniper's virtual networking solution. Plus, Juno's Pulse mobile security suite has been updated. We'll tell you all about the latest enhancements. And we'll talk to an author of a pretty smart new book about mobile security. Discover what's inside mobile device security for dummies. Hi, I'm Kara Suboy. Welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. Installing a large-scale network for planning and testing can be a huge headache, but now there's a way to get it done without breaking any budgets or any ground. Judy Benningson joins us remotely to tell us all about Junosphere Lab. Welcome, Judy. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Cara. So nice to be here with you. So Junosphere Lab sounds like a really great solution for network architects and operators. Tell us more. Yeah, Junosphere Labs is really a great solution for network designers and planners, network architects, as you mentioned, as well as network testing folks and the network operators themselves. Three really different classes of types of folks can benefit from this, this product. So tell us how Junosphere Lab works. So the exciting thing about this is that it's a first of its kind. It's a first of the its kind for the industry. It's also a first of its kind for Juniper. And what it really lets people do is create and test and train all on virtual assets in the cloud. So you can build a whole network as big as you want. But instead of building it with physical equipment, you're building it with virtual equipment in a mm -hmm. cloud. And what are some of those pieces of equipment, some of those components that make up the lab? Let's take an example. Let's pretend that, and this is actually a real example from one of our customers, let's pretend that you wanted to do some multicast VPN testing. And let's pretend you only had 15 routers in your physical lab, but you really wanted to test with 75 routers, something wow. that's more similar to your real network. Okay. Geosphere Labs, you can actually add that extra 60 nodes into your network and have a network of 75 nodes that are running multicast VPN testing. So you can run routers, you can run firewalls, you can run Unix hosts, and we've got a set of partner images you can also run. You can run test equipment, and you can run um, images that help show and display the network for you with the GUI interface. That's pretty amazing. I mean, that versatility and scalability is incredible. But what are some of the other features? Yeah, some of the other features for Junosphere Labs are things like a really nice interface. Um, it's publicly accessible from anywhere in the world uh, through an internet connection. If you feel like working at Starbucks, you can do that. <laughs> and then on the back end, we really automate everything for the, for the customer. So let's say, let's go back to our 75 node example. If you wanna have 75 nodes with a click of a button, the whole network will be created for you. So it's, it's really quick. It saves you a ton of time. And of course it saves you a bunch of money because you only pay for Junus for Labs when you wanna use it. It's a typical cloud-based model. Thank you so much, Judy. Really appreciate the time. For more information, visit juniper.net slash junosphere. Is managing the exploding number of mobile devices on your network an IT nightmare? Coming up next, we'll show you how the latest from Juno's Pulse will help your IT department sleep better. Like to learn more about Juniper solutions? Want to get Juno certified? Whether you're a new user or a seasoned pro, Juniper's day one booklets give you straightforward step-by-step -step instructions, handy shortcuts, and helpful tips on security, routing, switching, and Junus automation. And if you're looking for a deeper dive, check out our technical books from publishers around the world covering current and emerging technologies. They're available in e-format or print at juniper.net slash books. Welcome back to Juno's Connect, your video source for Juno's technology and news. I'm Kara Suboy. Employees are using smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices to access company networks. Rich Campania is here to talk to us about how Juno's Pulse can manage all of these devices and still make sure data is secure. Thank you so much for joining us, Rich. And why don't you start by telling us about some of the problems or challenges with connecting all of these devices? Well, in the last couple of years, we've just seen a wave of new mobile devices coming into, into enterprise networks. And 
uh, you know, th that's been a great thing for in a lot of ways. You know, employees have a lot more productivity. Uh, they have access to data and information everywhere they go. Sure. Uh, the challenge is, is securing these devices. A lot of them have been built for, for consumer use cases, and when they make their way into the enterprise, there's, there's really a lot of emphasis or a lot of work that has to go into securing these devices. And, and kind of the way that we frame the, the challenges facing bringing these types of devices into the enterprise is, is focused on three different areas. Protect, connect, and control. Okay. Uh, each of these is critical in terms of properly securing uh, smartphones or tablets as they come into an enterprise. So uh, protection is, is all about securing the device against things like malware and other types of unwanted applications. Uh, connect is all about uh, securely connecting the device into, uh, into the corporate network. So using something like a VPN to properly encrypt traffic, uh, to authenticate traffic as it, as it goes across the internet between the device and, and the enterprise. Uh, and control is all about configuring the device to ensure that that consumer grade device is appropriately uh, positioned from, from an enterprise perspective to ensure that things like you know, encryption or passcode policies are, are enabled so that if the device gets in the wrong hands, uh, the enterprise doesn't need to worry about losing their data. I know Juno's Pulse has some new features. How do those features work into this or factor into this three-prong approach? Well, a lot of our focus with Juno's Pulse up until now has been on the first two pillars, uh, protect and, and unconnect. Mm -hmm. um, with this most recent release, the Juno's Pulse Mobile Security Suite version 3.0, we add in some of those uh, control capabilities. So now, in addition to being able to protect the device and, and protect data as it transits the network, uh, we're able to uh, control the device itself. So set passcode policies as an example to ensure that it's appropriately uh, positioned from an enterprise security perspective. That obviously has huge benefit to the customer. Explain some of that. Well, I, mean, I think it, it really helps them to uh, to fully embrace these devices. You know, a lot of enterprise IT groups have been really scared about bringing these devices onto the network, but users are just demanding it. And so uh, with this and with this holistic approach to security on these devices, you're absolutely able to uh, control sort of the end-to-end -end set of problems you're going to face when, when opening up your network. Thank you so much for joining us, Rich. We appreciate it. For more information, visit juniper.net. And stick around, some pretty smart tips on securing mobile devices at work. Looking for answers to questions about Juniper products? Join JNet and tap into the collective knowledge of a global community. Find solutions from Juniper users, experts, and Juno certified engineers. Register for your free user account and join the conversation from your mobile or your computer. Go to the link on your screen to sign up now. Welcome back to Juno's Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. Mobile devices can give you big productivity gains and anytime, anywhere access to corporate data and applications. But this flexibility isn't without its challenges. Joining me is Suboy Ayer to talk to us about a recently published book, Mobile Device Security for Dummies. Welcome, Subu. And first of all, congratulations on writing the book. And why don't you start by telling us a little bit more about it? Thanks, Kara. Thanks for having me here. We live in an exciting age of smartphones and mobile devices today. People bring their iPhones and iPads and Android devices. They use it for work. They use it for personal email. This brings forward a number of interesting challenges. The book primarily addresses three of those challenges. One is it talks about um, how to protect your, device, your data and your personal information on these devices. It talks about what types of attacks hackers are beginning to launch on these types of devices and the data that resides on them. Mm -hmm. Second, it talks about uh, securing the communications between your device and the applications you may be using. And finally, it talks about how to roll out a corporate-wide um, mobility policy, especially targeting IT administrators, so that they can support these types of devices within a work environment. Why did you and your colleagues decide to write it? Oh, Juniper is uniquely positioned to solve many of these mobility challenges, um, both in the network as well as on the endpoint. And we have a number of solutions which tackle many of these problem uh, problems in the in the mobility space. So we decided to tackle this space because it's it's such a new market. People know very little about the types of threats that uh, affect these types of devices. Sure. So we wanted to get it out there. We wanted to get the information out there and educate both consumers as well as enterprise customers. Yeah, who would you suggest pick up a copy and read it? Sure, this book is targeted both at uh, end users, such as you and I, mm -hmm. who use devices like these all the time for accessing personal email or work email or even for work purposes, like sure. you know other types of um, 
mobile banking or uh, social networking purposes. Uh, so it helps you talk, uh, think about what types of security you need on these types of devices. It is also targeted at uh, IT administrators who are thinking about expanding their mobility policy to support devices th like these in, uh, in a work environment. Very good. Well, thank you so much. And again, congrats on writing your first book. Thank you. Thanks, Kara. For more information, watch the on-demand webcast on Juno Central. And be sure to pick up your own copy. Details are on juniper.net slash books. That's it for this episode. I'm Kara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Juno's Connect.